So I'm gonna take this small ball, it's about the size of a tennis ball. This is one of my favorite balls, Myofoam Small Ball. And I'm gonna take this and we're gonna release along the low ribs, those erector bundles, and then we're gonna get into quadratus lumborum itself. So grab a ball about this size, softer is better. Please don't use a lacrosse ball, especially on your ribs. And let's go to the wall and do this release. To find your quadratus lumborum in the area that we're gonna to work today, you can place your hands in the soft part of your waist and then walk your thumbs around. You could press in toward the spine in that soft part of the waist and feel that there's probably some tenderness along these edges. They're kind of the arms of the lumbar spine called the transverse processes. And if you follow that up, you kind of start to bump into your low ribs. So this area here is where we're gonna release the erectors and we're gonna ride out along that low rib. And then we're gonna get into quadratus lumborum itself to alleviate these um, glutes symptoms, SI joint symptoms, and lightning-like pain that can strike you um, when that QL and those erectors are kind of jacked up with tension. So we're gonna grab our ball and we're gonna place it um, just at that low rib area, that intersection of the low ribs and the QL. And we're gonna bring that right to the wall and if you kind of step your feet forward, you get more pressure on the ball, step your feet back, you get less pressure on the wall. And so I'm gonna start by just kind of going up and down. I'm right next to the spine. I don't wanna roll on the spine. I wanna be just to the side of it and go up and down there. Now I'm starting on what would be the high side because those are the, that's the side that's short and I want to release that first. So I'm gonna just, um, keep my arm out of the way. You can keep your arm nice and relaxed. And as I go up and down there, I feel that there's, yeah, there's some tension right at that low rib area. So I'm going to sink into that space. I'm going to rock a little side to side, bump into the spine, move away from the spine, turn a little, find really the, the kind of height of tension in there, and then take a couple breaths. Relax your body. And then I'm gonna move up and down again. As I come a little bit down lower, I'm right at that low rib, right next to that lowest rib. Turn your body a little toward that side. Wiggle a little around so that you find that really tender spot that's around there. There's mine, I find a really tender spot. I'm turned just slightly toward that right side and I'm gonna take a few breaths here. I can even feel that kind of referring, radiating a little bit into my butt. That's common for this spot. Relaxing your body, softening your jaw, soften your eyes and then you're gonna start just rotating a little bit side to side, tracing out, you should feel that low rib under the ball. And I can feel all along that lowest rib, it's a little bit tender. I come out a couple inches from the spine, turned to the right, and now I find a really tender spot. It's kind of right where that um, quadratus lumborum attaches up onto that lowest rib. And now you're gonna kind of sway your hips a little tiny bit side to side. And that just really quickly cleared that spot for me. So we're right on those erector bundles, right on the lowest two ribs, just above quadratus lumborum. And that feels a lot smoother and easier for me. And then I'm gonna come below that rib and turn to the right. So I'm about 45 degrees turned to the right. And that allows that ball to get right next to the spine. See how it's in the soft part of my waist, right next to that lumbar spine. And then I'm gonna shift my weight from foot to foot, kind of rocking forward and rocking back. And as I rock forward, the ball comes right into that quadratus lumborum area. I can explore a little bit up and down, finding the spot that's very tender. And my spot today 
is a little bit low in that quadratus lumborum, just above the top rim of the pelvis. So I'm gonna sink into that spot. And I'm gonna do a little side bending away and toward, away and toward. And then I'm gonna move my hips side to side again. Oh, that really drives the ball into that point, kind of wagging your tail side to side. And it's helping the nervous system to retrain to not hold on to that tension right there. Oh, that feels better. Great, I'm gonna go up and down. Often there's a spot right at the bottom there by the top rim of the pelvis, right in the middle of quadratus lumborum, and then right at the top by the um, lowest rib. So I'm gonna move that ball up. I'm right in the middle now. I sink in, oh, I'm right on a trigger point. I can feel that referring downward. It's really affecting my leg and wrapping around the side of my pelvis a little bit. So I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and then wag the tail side to side. So that stretches the quadratus lumborum and then activates it a little bit. And that little sway of the hips side to side, like a little QL dance, is what helps that muscle to reset uh, so much better. I can feel my pelvis is moving much more freely still a little tender, but not nearly as tender as it was. And so now I'm gonna go up to that very top corner, right near that lowest rib, and right at the intersection. I'm not right next to the spine, that's not gonna get me in QL. I have to be turned about 45 degrees, and then rocking right up to that quadratus lumborum. And I find a little tender spot there. And one more time, I'm gonna wag my tail a little side to side. And in this spot, that isn't affecting it quite as much, so I'm gonna do a little side bend. Now I'm feeling more of that QL changing as I kind of rock my upper body side to side. And then I'm gonna pause that movement, take a big breath. Ah, relax the body. And then I'm just gonna wiggle a little side to side and up and down. And you can continue, those are kind of the three main trigger points. You can continue, you might still feel a little soreness. You wanna go back and do it again a few times today to really get those muscles to shift and to stay shifted. So I'm just exploring all around, feels so much better. Yeah, so much better. And then you might go ahead and do this on the other side, starting up at the lowest rib, going across, up and down, and then getting back into that quadratus lumborum. So now that we've released some of the right side, we're gonna do a side bend stretch. So now to just kind of give a nice stretch to the QL and those erectors, you're gonna stand at the wall and you're gonna stand with the side that you just released away from the wall. So that was my right side. I'm gonna stand with that away from the wall. I'm gonna bring my left hand to the wall. And I'm gonna take my right arm up and over and lean toward the wall until the right hand kind of comes to the wall, if it does. And then you can push both hands into the wall and push your hips out toward the center of the room and that's gonna open up that whole side. And you're gonna stretch and then release and then stretch, take a big deep breath. Exhale, come up to stand. And we're gonna do that one more time. Reach that hand over to the wall. You could even bend the inside knee. Push the hips out toward center of the room and then come back up to stand.